I'm not a lawyer or a politician, but Trump got indicted again. And yes, I read all 98 pages. And so here we go. So this indictment is the state of Georgia against Donald Trump and 18 other people. And it includes a RICO charge, like the same thing Young Thug is facing. If you need a refresher on RICO, go watch my Shein video because I talk about RICO and what it means and what it stands for in that video. But most of the evidence for that RICO comes from what was alleged in previous indictments. So if you watch my last video, then you know about the alleged plot that Trump and some of his co-conspirators had in order to overthrow the election. And this indictment has just pulled it all together to show that it was a coordinated effort that Trump was at the head of to overthrow the election. So I don't wanna spend any time recovering that stuff. Instead, I wanna cover this attempt to influence witnesses charge. Let's talk about that. So this attempt to influence witnesses charge has to do with the lies, harassment, and intimidation Trump and these co-defendants directed at a woman whose name is Ruby Freeman and her daughter, Shay Moss. So Ruby was a temporary election worker in Fulton County who in the House Select Committee that she had only signed up to support her daughter, Shay. Shay was a registration officer and spent most of her career making sure that Fulton County elections were fair. So they do their jobs as election workers. And then after the election, Trump and some of the co-defendants mentioned in this indictment begin circulating a video in which they claim that Ruby Freeman and her daughter Shay had pulled fake ballots from suitcases that were hidden under the tables at the ballot counting center. Rudy Giuliani specifically says that Ruby and her daughter were quote, quite obviously surreptitiously passing around USB ports as if they were vials of heroin or cocaine. So they start circulating this video with their narrative that these women are stealing votes basically. And then the video goes viral. And regardless of being told that it was not true, Trump gets on a call, the infamous call, calls out Ruby Freeman's name repeatedly, saying that she's a professional vote scammer a hustler and a known political operative who stuffed the ballot boxes. From there, Ruby Freeman and her daughter begin receiving death threats. I've been having terroristic threats. I've been having harassing phone calls and emails. And they came out and made a police report um, yesterday. And last night, about 10 minutes after 9, somebody was banging on the door. And now somebody's banging on the door again. Oh, they screaming. He's still bamming on the door. Okay. He's still bamming on the door. Lord Jesus, where's the police? These women received threats of being lynched, people calling their phones, people showing up to their house, so much so that one of them eventually goes into hiding. Then Trump and his team begin harassing Ruby Freeman themselves. Act 87 and 88 here, which again is the evidence that the DA is referencing as support of the RICO, details a man named Stephen Lee traveling to the home of Ruby Freeman, banging on her door, and then telling a neighbor and police that he was there to try to help Ruby and her daughter. He says that he's a pastor and that time is running out and he's just there to try to help. Ruby refuses to talk to Stephen. So when Stephen isn't successful, he reaches out to Harrison William Prescott who at that point was the director of Black Voices for Trump. And this is all detailed in Act 89. So Prescott then reaches out to a woman named Travion Cuddy, who if you don't know, Travion Cuddy was the publicist for Kanye West. Overt Act 115 details Stephen Lee, Prescott and Cuddy all calling and texting each other and Ruby Freeman on January 3rd and on January 4th. And then on January 4th, Cuddy catches a flight from Chicago to Atlanta and then shows up to Ruby Freeman's house. And Cuddy tells Ruby that she's a crisis manager and she's there to try and help Ruby and her daughter. Ruby agrees to meet with Cuddy down at Cobb County Police Station. And they are basically there trying to tell her that she needs protection and that they can help her. But it was all with the intention of influencing her testimony or basically getting her to admit that she did commit voter fraud, even though she repeatedly tells them that she did not. So this whole saga with Ruby Freeman and her daughter are all covered in this indictment. 
And it's also worth noting that last month, like July, Rudy Giuliani admitted that the statements that he made about Ruby and her daughter were false. Ruby and her daughter have now both been formally cleared of any wrongdoing after Georgia officials conducted their investigation and determined all of it was a lie. So that saga is included in this indictment and is why there is a charge for attempting to influence witnesses. So there you have it, the fourth indictment against the two-time impeached and now four times indicted 45th president of the United States.